Here we'll be rounding decimal numbers with two decimal places to the nearest whole number. To do this it's a good idea to have already seen the video on rounding decimal numbers with one decimal place to a whole number. We're going to round 1.24 to the nearest whole number. In the number 1.24 you can see that you have one and then two tenths. So if we locate that on the line 1.2 now we also have four hundredths. Each of the little divisions between each tenth is a hundredth. So if we move the arrow one place, we're on 1.21. One whole one, two tenths and one hundredth. And as it moves each place, it goes up another hundredth. So it becomes 1.22, 1.23 and then 1.24. If you look at the whole numbers either side of that, you have 1 and 2. And you can see that where that arrow is, 1.24, the nearest whole number is 1. Round 4.50 to the nearest whole number. This still has two decimal places, even though we've indicated that there's nothing in the hundredths column. And as you can see, that's just the same as 4.5. The whole numbers either side of that are 4 and 5, and that is exactly in the middle. It's the same distance away from 4 as 5. Because it's 0.5, we're going to round it up. So 4.50 rounded to the nearest whole number is 5. It can be a little bit confusing when we get something like 4.49 because that 9 often tricks us into thinking that we've got to round up. If we look at that on the line, 4 ones and 4 tenths, and we're going to go up 9 hundredths. So from 4.4 to 4.41, 4.42, and we keep adding on a hundredth until we get to 4.49. And you can see that that's just before the 4.5. 4.5 is the halfway mark where we would round up. The whole numbers either side are 4 and 5, but this time the arrow hasn't quite got to the halfway mark. So 4.49 rounded to the nearest whole number, it's nearer to 4 than it is to 5. The number line illustrates what's happening with the numbers. It's much more efficient to be able to just use the digits to work these out. So if we go back to 4.49, rounded to the nearest whole number, because we're rounding to the nearest whole number, we indicate that, which is 4. We look at the next column, which is the one that tells us whether we round that 4 up to 5, or whether it stays as 4. We have 4 in the tenths column. We don't need to worry about what's in the hundredths. If you're rounding to the nearest whole number, you're looking at the tenths column. Whatever's in the hundredths won't make any difference. Because there are four in the tenths column, and anything 0.4 or smaller means we round down, the whole number will remain as four. Rounding 7.51 to the nearest whole number, looking at the digits, the whole number is seven, we're going to decide if that stays as 7 or if it goes up to 8. Because it's the whole number that we're rounding, we're looking at the next column, which is the tenths. Again, we don't worry about what's in the hundredths. We have 5 tenths. 0.5 or bigger, that means we round up to the next whole number. So that 7 will become 8. Here are some for you to try. Pause the video round 28.82 to the nearest whole number. The whole number is 28. The deciding digit is in the tenths column and that's 8. We don't need to worry about what's in the hundredths. 0.5 or bigger, we round up. So 0.8 will round that whole number up to 29. Pause the video, have a go at 12.15 rounded to the nearest whole number. Whole number is 12. We look at the tenths column, 
that's just a one. We don't worry about what's in the hundredth. That one tells us that we're rounding down. So that 12 stays as 12. Pause the video, have a go at rounding these to the nearest whole number. Watch out for that last one. It might be a little bit confusing, but I will explain that at the end. First one, 5.99. The whole number is 5. We have 9 tenths, so that rounds up to 6. The next one, 99.19. The whole number is 99. There's 1 tenth, so that 99 stays as 99. The next one, 99.91. Again, the whole number is 99, but this time we have 9 tenths, so the next whole number is 100. 127.49. Remember that 0.49 is just less than 0.5, so it's not quite halfway. The whole number is 127. 0.4 means that it stays at 127. 127.50, this time the whole number is 127, but there are 5 tenths, so we round it to 128. This last one the whole number is zero and we have one tenth. If we look at this on the line, 0 0.11, you can see that the whole number it's nearest to is actually zero and not one. And this can be confusing for a lot of people and there is some argument in maths as to whether zero should be counted as a whole number. But if this were 1.11, you would do exactly the same thing. 1.11 on the line you can see is nearer to 1 than it is to 2. So the same works when it's 0 0.11. So it is possible to end up with a 0 when you're rounding. So 0 0.11 rounded to the nearest whole number is 0.